Taking a look at today's interest rate markets, let's look at the 10-year note futures as they're recovering a bit today. 10-year note futures coming off of the recent lows to trade higher. Now the previous closing low was uh, 109.24. That's higher than the low close that we had early last week of 109.20. So we did not take out the closing lows that the market experienced early last week. And now we're seeing some higher price action today with the futures market still below the 110 handle, but just slightly at the 109.30 level today. And Looking at the driving factors, a couple of things I think influencing the markets. Number one, digestion of the inflation data last week coming in much higher than anticipated. Now the market's trying to discern if that's going to be a trend shift or that is just a one-off type of scenario. We're also having uh, several Fed speakers throughout the week that could influence the market. And I think that that's another factor as to why we're seeing uh, some moderation in the price action, at least for the short term. Third thing would be uh, some of the other economic data late last week showed some slowing, particularly in the housing markets. That could be another factor contributing to the price action today. Looking at the yields, 10-year yield down two basis points today to 427 basis points. And we're also seeing the yield curve a little bit less inverted today. And what I mean by that is we're seeing heavier buying pressure on the short end of the curve than the back end of the curve. Yield curve is moving lower pretty much across the durations from the one year out to the 30 year but a little bit more so in the shorter duration uh, bills and also the notes where we're seeing yields lower relative to the back end of the curve today. As the markets are, again, digesting uh, some of the shifting dynamics within the inflation front and also anticipating some of the economic data this week.